That's slanderous. So, yes. That's nefarious. That's teaching true. them take that back. how to teach their students better. The truant students. None of the teachers, none of the non-guest teachers right. could teach these kids, but the guest teachers are the ones that can teach Substitute. the kids. He's got the answers. Oh. Sam, she goes, are you kidding me? And I said, yes. I said, no, I'm not. I said, your son is incredibly bright. And I have a feeling man. he will ace this class. He got an A. He got an A, OJ. And I said, because I believe He's in this He's so full of crap. And I called his mother. And I think every, every teacher here should call the parents. Substitute when, teacher. Where, in your living room? Who does nothing. <laughs> How many teachers Sits are you living with, John? Babysits. Is now calling well. parents. Not only does not have access to these numbers either. When the child either. misbehaves or does poorly on the exam, call when they do well, because it nothing makes a parent's day. That is nuts. More. He really is delusional. And getting a phone call. I keep saying it's like Lady Night on one A has lost their her mind. Child has done. Been drinking beer for thirty years. He's got dementia. And alcohol. that student is. The class. Syndrome. Ace the class, OJ. The After class that John done, wrote. <laughs> some of the teachers came up to me. Hey, uh, what was the name of that student? And I told them the kid's he's name. He's full of crap. They nobody went, came up to you, stupid. Here. He's a fucking... He's a troublemaker. I go... And obnoxious, John. If you think I'm scared of four losers who get high and watch Stuttering John as their career... You're sadly mistaken. Your faith. Wait, wait, I'm reading Saul's tweet here. <laughs> right. Uh, he didn't say us. No. Why is Why is John? Why is John? Pa well, no. He didn't. He wasn't talking about us, John. I'm sure he was talking about Ditka '89, or possibly uh, the Vanderpumps, the Van Johnsons, <laughs> over there at the Shuli. What are their names again? Jen and Ryan Van Johnson. Vander uh, Kim Johnson. Kim, Kim Johnson. That's yeah. it. Not the Van Johnsons. Kim Johnson. Kim and John Johnson. Kim and John Johnson. Career. You're well, sadly uh, mistaken, you faceless dope. Who, uh, Melinda you. said it's fake. Good for you, Rob Saul, for standing up against all of us faceless dolts. OJ, there's so many of us faceless dolts. There are. We are faceless. We are dolts. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. We accept our doltness. You know what else we accept, OJ? What's that? Joe Thomas becoming a new oh. YouTube. Did they maybe like Spencer sell like a, a ball of those things where you could where they were like it was like almost like hair that was like sticking straight out and you could. Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? See now you got me out going. I don't know. Never mind. I think I know what you're talking about though. We're moving on. This isn't Cardiff and OJ in the morning. This they'd is a real the, show. They'd be in the lava lamp section. Best oh, ball. the lava lamp section. Notices from my lawyer. They're gonna laugh. Well, you're not gonna laugh for that long shit way. Don't. Laugh. So, uh, this this segment coming up now is obviously. Cardiff, uh, I, I gotta interrupt because everyone's getting mad about this. But uh, Skull and Roses is saying they are literally called fiber optic glow wands. Thank you, thank you to whoever said that. Fiber Skull optic and Roses, but a lot of people wands. were were saying it. Thank you. Could you bring one of those up, OJ? I think we need to see it now. We've, we've we've made now we need to see if these really do look like John's hair since we've made such a big fucking deal about it. Oh god! Oh god! I'm passing out. Oh god! I'm passing out. Don't die, Joanne. Oh Don't god! Die. Oh god! Everything is getting small. <laughs> Are you serious, Doctor Steve? Oh, Oh my oh, god. <laughs> actually never mind. I just my my Twitter's up. Somebody <laughs> sent it to me. Okay. Did you, or did you find it? I did. Yes. But you, it doesn't matter. Okay, this, 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 <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and tune in to Subreddit Surfing tomorrow night where I debut my new Vinny drop. A new that's Vinny drop. drop. A new Vinny drop. I'm excited. I haven't recorded it yet, so I hope I do it. Uh, so hold me to that one, OJ. I'm, hold, I'm expecting you to hold me to that. Okay. Mark Abatista, thanks for the five. The idiot, he goes in 
and wets his hair and wets his hair and looks like he's sweating. His shirts are always dry. He's doing nothing but filming. Very, very likely Mark Abatista. I agree with you. And beat Dabbler Network. Four ninety nine, one goal and a plus three rating in a fabulous three one win in men's hockey. Getting Taco Bell to celebrate. I'll be on in twenty minutes. Wow, De degenerate. Get just playing hockey and eating Taco Bell. And guess what, everybody? He's still not here. I thought he was here. I was going to say we've got a time machine, but no, we don't. We've just got bars for some reason. So you let me know when. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Fucking retard. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What is this, like 10 days in a row? Oh my god, do you want a cookie? <laughs> Not 10 days, stupid. You've been four days you're going to the gym. Go get the Crunch Wrap Supreme. You've earned it, John. Is that what you got? Crunch Wrap no, Supreme? I get, no, I get those, uh, what are they called? They don't make the double decker taco the anymore. Double decker taco is the best. I know, I but loved now, it. now they have something called the double stack. Which instead of beans, they put cheese. Not what? The the ripaverse mint salad. Uh, mint salad's boyfriend got arrested at a at a, at oh, a yeah. podcast meet and greet yesterday. Well, I saw someone. I didn't know who that was. Yeah. So that's mint salad's boyfriend, boyfriend Riley. Mint salad is a yo uh, OnlyFans girl that does shows with L Lorenzo, right? An autistic OnlyFans girl. Yes. Leslie, and then Shuli counter Susan and wins. How how funny will it be if he files a lawsuit before he leaves California? It actually makes it to a case, and then he has to go back to fight the lawsuit. What is he suing Shuli for? Defamation. Defamation. So oh, Shuli out tomorrow. It's supposed to be uh, supposed to be tomorrow. getting served tomorrow. Apparently. What is the defamation? Because like what does Shuli say? He's that he's a drunk. Shuli's defaming him, saying he's done criminal activities. Like what? Does he? I don't know. Can I don't. Just I say like someone's a criminal and that's defamation, but you don't give any. He didn't say. Well, I don't know. I know Shuli's been teasing it for a while. Uh, I think he has some information. But I don't know. I don't want to say that I've seen it because I don't want to be called into for, into questioning. I don't want to be a, a witness for the defense or for the prosecution. I, I do. I've be... seen it all. I want. Oh, you've seen it all. Yes, I've Joanne. Seen all the documents. Yes. How do you spell your last name, Joanne? Uh, Q. S. Oh, very good. You look out. You you send uh, you send a. a if this lawsuit happens, we will be heading to Alabama and we will be smoking many cigarettes. Covered. Yes. Yes. This will literally be a lull suit. A lull suit. No, it, it wouldn't be in Alabama. It would have to be where where John served the papers. No, in California. Well, I think we'll take where it would be where it took place and Chewie's in Alabama so I I don't know where John did say place? John does say that Shuli will have to he won't be able to use Vince the lawyer he's gonna have to find a lawyer in Alabama so John's John again wins again that he has to he, he truly won't be able to use Vince the lawyer or whatever John has some inside information doesn't matter to me by the way um oh Shiway, you do know that my mom has been at my house in the in the past year, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. Wow. Your oh, mom? He is he bragging because Shuli's mom is dead? I think so. I think that's I think that's what he's really digging Shuli with. Is like my mom's alive and she came to the house that she bought me, Shuli. Bragger. Your mom can't go to the house that she bought you, can she? No, yeah. He's dead. No, yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. Stubborn oh, idiot's mom didn't go there. No way. You didn't know that, did you? That's right. Smug. That's guy. right. I'm not going to tell you what month. I, I've already said it on this show, though. Drink a beer! But my sister in law did go down there. I we want to see you drink a beer! Why won't he say the month that his mother went to his house? Like, why is that he's lying. secret information? He doesn't want like, to dox her, period. Because that was when she was menstruating. Uh, oh, good. Yes, probably. Yeah, she can't. Old ladies can't travel while they're menstruating. They have to right. stay home for that. They just bleed for hours on it. Is it? Is it? Could it be that it was the same month that she allegedly fell in Massapequa downstairs yeah, on her own dried up menstrual <laughs> blood? <laughs> Loved it. And uh, why do you think I've been in such a rush to furnish it? And now it's almost done. 
Because your mom later. yelled at you that you're not taking care of this piece of shit house so you made me buy you? Put some fucking couch. Put a couch in it, you garbage man. The mice, the mice are complaining there's no place to relax. Yeah. Recreation. There's no shade. All brand new furniture. Yeah, yeah. Courtesy of the legend. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, hey, whatever. I can't. You know, these... Wait, can't. what? So the legend bought Furnish John's home? Apparently. Wow. Money. Gave him money. Unbelievable. Yeah, is he been playing with poker chips or something? Yeah, poker chips or beer cats or He's the biggest money motion millionaire ever. He's, he's fidgeting a lot. He's so. been doing that for the past, like, week. Maybe he's yeah. getting nervous he's about the trip. Drinking! He's not drinking! Why mm. isn't he drinking? It's almost like mm. he has an important thing to go to, and he shouldn't be drinking because it might have something to do with his mm. drinking. But excuse me, I don't mean to intervene. Not here, drinking only lasts a half a day. Could be a medical thing, all these doctor's appointments lately. I don't know. I don't know. These guys are going to bullshit. They're going to lie all they fucking want. And that's what they do. That's all they know how to. Now I have this idiot on Twitter who, who's really, uh, you know. Uh, this is this is funny because we're going to get to see. We're going to get to see John live blocking somebody. So many of us have been blocked. We're actually going to see it happen. We're actually going to watch another fallen dabbler uh, fall live on this show. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. John swears he doesn't block, block people. Another this line. guy is too funny. Uh, <laughs> this idiot. He's saying, I guess this app here. I mean, did I, am I, yeah. I guess this thing is saying I, I was not credited as a writer on the Cream Apple Jabaros. Okay. <laughs> Listen to me, you fucking loser. I'm going to block you, again. first of all, because you're just a fucking loser. <laughs> Goodbye. You are not Everybody go follow Dade and Based. Everyone give Dade and Based a follow. He deserves it. He needs our support now. Another fucking comrade. Nor will you credit as a roaster. Stand with Ukraine. Stand with Ukraine. Anyway. Yes, I was, in fact, the only writer on the Kareem abdul Jabbar roast. I know it's seen it. And... I was hired by my liaison, was the one who got me the gig, Michael Froch, a lawyer, who had heard they were looking for a writer. So, Kareem's manager. I want to say the 20000 John took right out of the kids' education. For the roast. And I was hired. And I made... No one would ever know that this existed. No. <laughs> like, where was it? Did it ever air anywhere? No, it wasn't made for TV. So this was we'll we'll get into oh, it, but this was an event. It was at the, like the Four Seasons in LA. It was a it was a kickoff. Kareem was going on a tour. Um, and we'll, we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to all that. The money that you can't find a Kareem roast anywhere. Vomits. They probably out, never like did it. Twenty thousand. Like if that's true, they paid John twenty thousand dollars for something with, that was never seen by anyone except for us to goof on. But but just wait, just wait. I, I am yeah, I am going to make a. Wait. I'm going to make a point here. No. He's never spoken to me. So I am hosting. You're just a free roll. They're walking around. I'm sorry. The audio is horrendous. And I think John was in charge of the audio as well. Even on stage, the audio was horrendous. But again, it wasn't, it wasn't made for broadcast. This was kind of a, this was like the old roasts at the Friars Club that they didn't record. They just went up and did the roast, fucked around. And, Moody! You know. Fix the audio, Moody! Yeah. When, whenever whenever you wake up over there in India, Moody, fix the audio. Thank you. A lot of things you have to offer, but not your mind. Let's go. I got, I got important stuff. Go back. Was that John's graphic guy who created that graphic? What uh, a piece of garbage. But not your mind. Let's go. Let's go. I got, I got... That? Yes. Yes, that was John's probably. Like, look at all the spacing between things and the curving. It's, it's, art, horrible. it's artistic. This it's is artistic. Tired. What stuff are you talking about? Okay, now pay attention. We are about to see John. Are you ready? This is the only appearance John makes at the Kareem Abdul Jabbar roast. No. This is it. Are you ready? Let's do it. OJ? 
Does he have a beer in his hand? Yes. Oh, come on. Okay, I, I know. Two Too beers. easy. I bet he's double fisting. He's got uh, what, well, you thought it was a trick question? Yes. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he is. The Heineken? Uh, can't tell. Maybe a Corona. He's so tiny. That's it. That's John. Uh, that's John. Um, his appearance. That's, it. that's his entire appearance. But I want you to see. See this ice sculpture over here? Yes. Do you see what it mm. says on it? Let me. Pause over here. Oh, we. Skyhook Foundation. So the reason um, you didn't really see this anywhere, this, this was a charity event. So John was screaming that he got hired for a charity event, which I believe a month ago he was screaming at Rich Voss for not doing a charity event. But John was now screaming about getting paid to do this charity event. So the Skyhook Foundation is a wonderful organization that helps children excel in, in STEAM. Uh, I know John argues about STEAM, STEM, but with A. They, had art, they added art to STEM. Science, technology, engineering, math. For girls, I guess. I don't know. What? Basically, that $20,000 John took was took money out of the kids. <laughs> Took money away from the kids learning science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. He was screaming earlier about being a science and drama teacher, but when he had the opportunity to really help kids, he said, There's no way. Could a charity event have paid him $20,000? I don't think so. To do what? To walk around I with a beer? <laughs> That's the thing you could at walking so, around with you. Let's, so this, I, this joke, these two jokes that we're gonna hear now, I do believe are jokes that John wrote. They sound, they feel like John. They're on topics that John is uh, well known for discussing. And um, and again, John was responsible for the sound this night as well. That's why it sounds like garbage. Mm -hmm. Our practice was so short. <laughs> that the bottom of his ass cheek stuck out the bottom of his shorts. If you started running and you were behind, behind the reading, you went, what the fuck? <laughs> now, doesn't that sound like a John punchline? I can't understand a goddamn word anyone People saying. People laugh. Yeah, it's definitely not a John So basically, joke. he said, um, if you were running behind Kareem, his shorts were so short you could see the bottom of the ass cheeks. Hey -o. And, and the punchline, the punchline was, if you were running after Kareem, it'd be like, holy shit, I'm running after Kareem. Like that's the that doesn't that sound like it would be a John punchline? It does. <laughs> does that sound like something he would have wrote and then put up on the on the teleprompter for you? Try and try out, try and tune in. Let's hear it again. If you started running, if you were behind, behind Kareem. If you were running behind Kareem, you were like, what the fuck? That, that's a John punchline. Sounds that's exactly not, like John. Yeah, you're it, right. It, it, if you, you can definitely hear that coming out of John's mouth. That's something he would have, what the fuck? Like, that is something he wrote, and he thought it was brilliant. That's the fucking punchline. That's a payoff for his joke. <laughs> Yeah, people are laughing. Why did they put Kareem sure in a uh, Cracker Barrel rocking chair? What? He's getting Why roasted. Why not? It was like the roast chair. He's getting roasted. So the roast will also serve as a kickoff to a nationwide tour called the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Experience in which he unveils more than 300 pieces of memorabilia reflecting his 19-year NBA career where he won five of six championships with the Lakers. The proceeds will benefit Abdul-Jabbar's Skyhook Foundation and STEM education. So again, that 20000 John took right out of the kids education for the roast and i was hired and i made over twenty thousand. <laughs> about the kids Does steel toe have anything to say about the kids no oh, sorry i was trying to see if the skyhook foundation is still around it is. uh let me think i gotta think of something no i just need you to say kids for the kids why did they do it for the kids that twenty thousand could have gone to the kids how do you know how many cans of SpaghettiOs you can buy for $20,000? My God! Exactly.
So much science could have been taught if John just donated his time to the Skyhook Foundation. Could you imagine? I'm not really at the gym, right, Cardiff? That's correct, John. <laughs> That's correct. You're not really at the gym, John. Remember that one? That's an old picture, right, Potato? Mm -hmm. No, it won't. No, it won't. That was a brand new picture, Cardiff. It's the fact that a 58-year-old man has to prove himself to a potato on the internet. I win, John. I win every time. You're so fucking... You were on the Howard Stern Show. I used to listen to you in my car. I used to think, wow, said, this guy's... He'll be in perfect wow, condition this guy's on the Howard Stern Show as I'm driving around Minnesota. Memory. And now I'm forcing you to take videos at Crunch Fitness in Canoga Park and post them on Twitter. Do you know how many people I sent the clip of him talking about me dying? I can <laughs> imagine. I that I was dead. Oh, I was so happy. I was oh. like, hey, remember stuttering John from the 90s? Here's him wishing me dead. Oh. Fucking great. <laughs> 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 Oh fuck! It's unbelievable. What? How have we gotten ourselves in? My red movie? shorts. Dabble gone too, everybody. Carlsoncomedy.com. In my red shirt, and yet I went to the gym again today. That's right. Why are you speaking like Shakespeare? And yet I went to the gym again today. And yet, beyond the uh, beyond the horizon, they have so, crunch fitness. He's so proud of just like. <laughs> normal things people do <laughs> great you went to the gym john Art. i guarantee you this however many days it takes him to drive out to wherever the fuck he's going there will be no stops at the gym there will be no going back to the gym once he's made his Dude. final destination how come there's no video of him actually Florida. working out how many just how many gym memberships are priced still being charged to his credit card every month that he's just or wait no never mind doesn't no he's on top of that so, uh, so potato, you still think it's AI? Yes. You fucking loser. You fat fuck. Yeah, he's right. About uh, hey, that. hey, I'm not a fat fuck, John. No, he's right. About I, that. I did, a, I did a push up today, John. <laughs> <laughs> Do one more push up. I'm gonna be ripped. Yeah. I have muscle memory. I have potato muscle memory. Let's I wait till next week. week. Yeah. I, by next, by the next time you see me, John, at at DabbleCon two, I will have done. Five push-ups. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm not talking the girly push-ups on your knees. I'm talking the semi-girly manly push-ups on the step. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Can you imagine doing a show about that? <laughs> no, it wasn't a push-up ice cream pop, you <laughs> son of a... <laughs> him. Ban him. Does anyone know where they make those anymore? Yeah, I, I'm like, up. I was wow. like an idiot the other day, and like, oh, I'm gonna go buy my kid those uh, Flintstone push-up pops. I don't think they've made them since the '90s. I can't the, buy push-up pops anywhere. The, the, the convenience stores will sometimes have them. I don't, I don't know about that, but the ice cream truck guys always have those. Yeah, fucking things have. you can't find anywhere, like those big foots and all the shit that you never see anywhere else. They always have it. So, I, I recommend, I recommend uh, Mr. Softy. Yeah, check the, uh, check, the, check the local convenience stores, uh, Joy. I have, I have. But the, does Ross your ice cream guy actually have a real truck, man. like an ice cream truck? I, 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 I haven't seen an ice cream truck around here in a while. We have an ice cream minivan. It's, minivan. A, it's a minivan where they took on all the seats, and they just have coolers. So it's like you go like, oh. package shit. Yeah, there's no like real ice cream truck with like a like soft serve ice cream anymore. It's like the guy riding around the bike with the cooler on the front. Yeah, see, I, I don't. I've never had that. You never had those? No, oh, but we literally have the minivans that people just convert like into a, ice cream. It's thing. like a Dodge Grand Caravan. Yeah, Didn't exactly. Zachy. Uh, Junior Hunchback. Oh yeah, I'm Junior Hunchback. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't I right. older than Patrick Melton? Is right. Melton like 25? No. No, I think oh. uh, you might be the same age, actually. Oh, oh congratulations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we both die at the same time. Yes. There are no hunchback or junior hunchback. There's no 90 year old giants. No, there isn't. Nope. There really isn't. Sorry. 
Now, that was real. I was there. Oh, Elton's 44, so he's much older than me. Can we believe everything oh, you say? Because you said so. That's your proof. No problem. And I went again today, and tomorrow. I'll probably go tomorrow. He's still wow. talking about the now gym? Now I'm addicted. Yep. I, was, I was just about to say, what are John bragging about? He's addicted to going to the gym now. <laughs> he's addicted. I, God, I but, hate that. I hate but, people like that. Listen to the language. He's addicted. He's treated in one addiction for another. Yeah. He's just talking in uh, sound bites. This is what people... Oh, just keep going, man. You'll you'll get addicted. You'll be like, oh, I can't believe I never went... I don't know how I lived without going to the gym every day. I don't know how I survived. Who goes to the this. gym every day, too? Aren't you supposed to give your body some time to, you know... I think he's really great. doing this all for... Eight and he's, he's, he's not... Trying. He's trying to bang Cage. He's suggesting he's that he out. goes to the gym. He's doing her workout routine. He's, he's trying to get some young tail. Even if he did go every day, he's not going hard every no. day. No. And, 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 and I don't know if he pulled the I pulled the clip. I don't think I did because he was talking to Quadfather. And anything that I had the Quadfather, I cut out because that guy's a backstabbing piece of shit who mm-hmm. trashed me. Garbage. Yeah, some human and garbage. Let's take him swimming. Anyway, he... He he said, he goes, and the shit way it thinks I'm still teaching, and I'm going to the gym every day. How can I possibly teach and go to the gym every day? It's like there's no teacher. There's no teacher anywhere that can teach substitute and go to the gym. It can't happen. It's impossible. I'm sure there's a lot of teachers in the gym. I'm sure there's plenty of them. Yes, substitute. but John, you can only do one or the other He's with not John. not a real teacher. Yes. And 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 I think that's that it, that's reminiscent, uh, not reminiscent. That's uh, very, very much John, where he can only do one thing. Right? Like, oh, I'm so busy. To, I gotta go. To, remember, like when he was had to go to the lawsuit, or he had to go file the lawsuit, or he had like he had to pick a day to go drive downtown because he couldn't handle, yes. you know, too many. Oh, I can't go tomorrow because uh, I have a phone call, and Thursday's not good because I've got to take a shower. But maybe next Friday, I can squeeze out some time. Like he's he's he can only handle one thing at a time. Mm-hmm. He's a famous That's... celebrity. They have a lot of things on their mind. He is. He has oh, a lot of things. This just came to me. This is like from way a long time ago. We were talking about when John was leaving. If it's about that, those fucking lights again from the no, no ice no, capades. No. But John John <laughs> did mention. I think it was today that his last day at the pub is going to be Saturday. They're having a party for him. Yeah, but then why you know, did he? But he's also said he was leaving Friday. I heard that too. He said that he was leaving Friday and they were having a party on Saturday. Yeah. And I thought that was really funny because I was like, oh, the pub's going to have a party the day after he leaves. Yes. Yeah, thank God he's gone. <laughs> yeah, right. he's finally gone. No, it You're wasn't right. a party. I caught it, that. He did say that. It, it wasn't a party per se. It was the, the, the manager of the pick was like, John, when are you, you're leaving? Yeah. You better be here Saturday and pay that fucking tab. That's true, too. Yeah. Or else... Another lawsuit pending. John gets sued by the Pickwick. The Pickwick Pub v. John E. Melendez. His mind towards something. He completes it. Ugh. Look at me. <sighs> oh, there's my gym, by the way. Cool. Again, you're the one telling everybody. Bragger! You bragger! Isn't that a ladies' Electro- gym? What yes. the crunch was just for women? Wait, well, well, speaking of chicks, you didn't, you missed the part him. earlier where he said now he's ready for sex. Yeah. Now he's oh. ready. Oh, why he doesn't have that bloated Somalian belly chest thing he's going bad. on anymore? No, no, no. He's all he's ripped now. Did you, like, ripped? And Did you ever what? see that thing where they puncture a cow's stomach and they light it and there's yeah. just fire? coming out of this little hole that they puncture on a cow's stomach, I guess because of all the methane? No, but no. I want to see this now. Okay, right. I gotta find that. <clears throat> I picture the same thing with John when you saw that picture of him on stage with his bloated gut. If you just punctured it and then lit it, it would even have a little light show coming out of him. Okay, uh, head. Kip Smith. Uh, yes, the, the women's gym you're thinking of is Coors. Coors. <laughs> Thank you, Kip Smith. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kip. Nice water. That's right. That's right. 
Oh, I have a membership. Don't worry about it. And uh, I plan on going all the time. Maybe even when I'm driving. He's bragging about having a gym membership. Like he's bragging about forty bucks a month. Somewhere Ray DeVito is yeah. very jealous. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I wish I went to that gym. Man, cr cr crunch, huh? Crunch. Hmm. They have smoothies. Well, I'm on the road. I might be going. It's the paper towel situation, like in the crunch showers. Is it unlimited? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by the time I get to New York, I'm telling you, I'm going to be buff as fuck. Dr. Steve has a sore on his hand mm -hmm. after Hackmania. What? What happened? Oh, never mind. And then when I'm driving to Florida, I'm going to be taking this weird route. Might be going up. through Alabama. It's gonna go through Alabama. Yep. It's gonna take care of the shoe. Kind of weird route. He's gonna fall uh, asleep, let's drive see. off the road, and if those cats are lucky, they'll escape. While he's struggling to breathe, like Christopher. Well, yes. We I, I theorize that the cats will be gone by this point. Maybe one the of cats the, cats, the cats will put their paw over his nose and mouth, <laughs> like Tony did to Christopher. <laughs> It's going to suffocate John. <laughs> yes. no, the, two, the two cats. Both cats are going to work together to take him down. One, one is going to like hold on to the seatbelt so he can't undo it. Pull, pull him back and the other one's going to smother him. They're, they're going to they're gonna do the cinnamon challenge, but they're going to do it with kitty litter. Down his throat. Uh. <laughs> It's gonna choke. John will be found on the side of the road, vomiting kitty litter. I just picture him getting in this accident. Yeah, and he's like Christopher struggling to breathe, and the two cats just look at each other and they just nod. And then you just see these paws oh, cover right, his right. nose and mouth. Can somebody ask the cats what happened to the Russians and the Pine Barrens, please? Oh, it's hard. We need to know. We need to know. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> It's so horrible. Are they really doing a Sopranos prequel? What? I heard that they're doing... They did yeah, the movie. Yeah. No, but I heard they're doing a show. I know, the movie was garbage. I heard they're doing a Sopranos show. It is a prequel. But I hope it's Whoa. a joke. They can't do anything else. They need to make... Everyone's fucking dead. Well, no, they're not... Oh, well, they're not all dead. Damn you. I, I have to say, uh, my friend Anthony Cumia has led me astray. Because he had a tweet uh, about a week or two ago. Not that one. Not that one. He had a tweet uh, to, to Johnny Sack. I, I don't remember the actor's name, but Johnny Sack was, was talking about being... Too low. Too low. Or too low uh, yeah. If they remember his name. Yeah. But a good friend of Anthony's. Great guest on Opie and Anthony back in the day. Very conservative, so Anthony likes him. Uh, but he was, he was extended on some show. And I see the show Gravesend. I'm like, what is this Gravesend? So I look sure. it up, and it's a, it's a Tubi show. Vincent Curatola. Curatola. Vincent Curatola. Thank you. Thank you, OJ. Graves in um, this show is the worst piece of dog shit I've ever seen, but I can't stop watching. I'm 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 just about to get to season three. What? I think. It's there's a whole bunch of like old Sopranos actors in it. So, you know, Big Pussy's in it and Vito's in it and um uh, I forgot Johnny Sack is obviously in it. Um it's it's this guy, William DeMeo. And he wrote it, directed it, starred in it. His son is one of the stars in it. Chaz Palminteri's in the show. Huh. But it's 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 like the 80s mob in Brooklyn, in Gravesend, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And it's every fucking cliche, every... Like, one of the episodes is called It's Sauce, Not Gravy. Ugh. It's like, oh, Miss Stuttering Greta. And I love, yeah... It goes to work. I lead on. I sit there. I do the job. I bring home the freaking check. And then we pay bills. And then I had to have three kids. And then I gotta change your diapers. And then I gotta take you bowling. And then I gotta take you to fucking chuck and cheese. And then I lose my sex life. And then I gotta can't watch football. No. I gotta go out. I gotta go out and go take you guys. Jesus. Cats in the cradle in the tart with a spoon finger. <laughs> Little boy Oscar. 
why do you linger? Oh, when you coming home, Dad? I don't know when, but soon you'll be airing. <laughs> that last diatribe shows what a piece of crap he is. Son, why he couldn't stay married. Why his kids get him. My boy. Look at hey, your, your kids penis. will watch you on a show. My son, I, it's uh, the most embarrassing thing son? ever. With no forearm scars? This is my oldest son with a forearm scar. Don't ask. Get it. And Susanna had to worry about where her Everybody next four paychecks were coming <laughs> from simultaneously. Oh, that poor woman. Poor woman. It's not easy being you, John. Plus, it's not gave easy being you. Imagine how hard it is to leave. being one of your children. They ended. He didn't give a penny to his but family. But that is it. I'll put that up on, uh, on the Patreon if anybody wants that. But, uh, 98, but that is the lost 20, audio. Again, I have to find John's removed this 10, from everywhere. It's, not, it's nowhere to be found. Uh, but Cardiff Electric strikes again. Find some more lost audio. It's amazing. Rocco, you've put something up here. Is there something I need to be putting up? I just noticed. Oh, no, this was, uh, Joanne. This was that, uh, when I was talking about John's bloated gut and how they would put these things in. Oh, is this the, the cows on fire? Yes. Okay, before we, go to, before we go to our sponsor, we have to, we're not hitting the goal, so we have to go to the sponsors. Let's watch a cow's stomach on fire. Oh, Mario Bosco. There's Mario Bosco. But that's it. I mean, they're showing, they, they poke it with this thing, and then they light it, and all the methane, I guess, is making do they, fire. What do they do with it? Do they need to light it? Are they roasting marshmallows on no, the cow Yeah, stomach? I think it, it relieves some kind of pressure or something in the cow. Uh, so I believe that this is what John had really? done after the uh, <laughs> night show. <laughs> the night show reunion. He had to have his uh, stomach alleviated. See, Dad, that, that... might know more about it. Dabblecon 2, we'll get Carlos Danger to uh, to try that. Yeah, <laughs> try that's all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I apologize again. We haven't hit the goal. 